so the next task is to make sure the river points um, always keep going down right like for example we cannot have cases like this one here right the height of this point should either be equal to the previous height or lower right so let's start dealing with that first okay and then we will talk about um adding more features like the, the cascade or for example making sure to uh, to add the slow uh, descent for the uh, curve points like for example the uh, the further a, a curve point is away from the the river uh, source the more um it get pushed down okay by some um exposed parameter so first thing you might want to do like if you want you can adjust the initial curve so it matches the terrain better and helps the tool to do a better job because uh, if you like place uh, the curve somewhere here it will not be able to slide down here obviously because from its perspective it will just get stuck somewhere here and yeah always make sure um your initial curve kind of um, makes sense a little bit right and so yeah what you want to do to do first is create a new asset a python asset um you might call like um cascade river tool or something okay i uh, already did that so i'm just gonna create the cascade uh gonna just add the cascade uh, river node and um you should expose two float parameters like this a threshold and then a slow descent right we will use this one later so i'm just gonna add this here i'm gonna edit source python um, i'm gonna say import uh, houdini module and then I'm gonna grab the parameters all right let's make sure to verify the names okay so i'm gonna just rename this load descent like this and i'm gonna say um threshold equal node dot param threshold dot evaluate and then slow the sound it will node dot param um slow descend or evaluate okay I'm gonna set the threshold here zero zero one this one zero zero one and first thing we want to do is we're going to loop over the primitives so for every primitive in uh, the input primitives essentially let's say for every curve in the um the input we're going to grab its points that that point going to initialize account value at zero and then going to assume the starting Part of the river is zero and then we're going to initialize the previous height to be um, the height of the first point so I'm going to say point start position then I'm going to say grab the position and say component one and then we're gonna loop over the points so for point in points we're gonna say grab the current height so the current height will be point position one like this and then um what we're gonna do here calculate the difference between the current height and the previous height so i'm gonna say current height minus previous height and if the difference 
exceeds a, cer a certain threshold, like parameters we just exposed. If that's the case, then um, current height becomes the previous height. And for the point, I'm gonna update the position with this new height. I'm gonna say set position to be point position zero. And then current height and then point position two. And right after this we're gonna update the um we're gonna increment count i'm gonna say count plus plus uh, let's say plus equal one and the previous height equal current height so with this in place um if you go to the right viewport you will see now our river always flows down and never up as you can see now what we want to add is make sure um, like um, the height of every point um, is, is um, gets pushed down based on how far away uh, from the start of the river right or let's say um, where is it located between the, the zero and the number of points uh, range okay you might need to use uh, a remap function so we get the value between zero and one so let's let's do that okay so just here after updating the uh, the position in case the difference of course exceeds the threshold what we want to do is say um like um um gonna say the um current height or let's say let's calculate the weight first okay so where is it located in the zero one range so i'm gonna say houdini dot houdini math and use the fit function this is a remap function as you can see the descriptions here here says return a number between the new mean and the new max so gonna the, our value will be a count and then the the initial range is zero to um to the length of number of points okay. then minus one and the new range is zero to one so now we have zero to one wait we can use push down the, uh, the points right and from here what we're gonna do is uh say um point dot set position i'm gonna copy this right And then say okay so here just gonna push this by slow descent multiplied by the weight let's see how this looks And as you can see, this is what we want. But as you can see, um, the rate of change uh, is linear, right? 
I want it uh, to be kind of a little bit an exponential way like for example the closer it is to the end of the river let's say the, fur the further it is uh, from the start of the river uh, the more it gets pushed down so all you have to do is just multiply this weight by itself and now as you can see looks more exponential but um, you might want to set this like something like 2 maybe should be enough and now here the difference so this is the input this is the output so now we are done with with the height uh, change part um, all we have to do now is deal with um, with the cascades 